Where's Tina sitting? Oh, uh, strap her to the top. Tina, oh man, was, Tina's gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Hi, Bill. How are you? Good, how are you? Happy New Year. Yeah, you too. Happy New Year, Bill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so European. <laughs> Your music is so European. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Stop playing, I knew Tina would love it. So Bill, Tina, and I are going to check out the warehouse that we shot those motorcycles at. We're going to see if we want to use that space as our as our studio, our full time studio. Bill really wants it. Tina really wants it. We'll see how it goes. You sent me what you claim I say I signed. I, I cannot. I can't verify that I, I signed this. All you guys need to do, <clears throat> all you guys need to do, no, you guys could change anything, anytime, because I, I can't verify it's not written on any contract that's in any form in my possession. So you guys just make shit up and then, make, and then say, oh, by the way, you owe us a thousand dollars. Because you just make stuff up. I work with with people and I tell them what you're telling me and I change my pricing and I and I say that I oh you signed up for this contract when they didn't you know I, I can't change my contracts and I can't change the things that that we work on we we have to actually abide by a code of conduct and it just appears to me that Comcast and 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 it's whatever it has grown so big that a little guy like me is just gonna get squashed and you say you understand, but you don't. Do you have a thousand dollars just to whip out and throw down because Comcast tells you, Comcast or AT and T or whomever told you that you owe them that because you they they said that you signed that contract? No, and you would bite that tooth and nail. My name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. I was just gonna let you know that I'm recording on my end as well. Wonderful. Um, we have received the email, and I'm. We in the corporate office actually, uh, we don't personally, um, uh, you know, perform the actions and, and resolve the issue. We, we actually uh, make sure that other departments are held accountable uh, and so on and so forth. So I'll be um, actually emailing Tensei and uh, Tensei supervisor um, to get this uh, result for you. Oh, I appreciate that. And no problem, Jeremy. Um, so definitely expect a call within the next uh, 24 to 40 business hours. So I'm, I'm steeped in this. Battle of Comcast <laughs> because they claimed that I signed a three month, three year contract when we signed up for business uh, internet. It has become this brawl trying to get this matter resolved. So the last email that I sent out was I copied the CEO of Comcast Business <laughs> or Comcast NBC, I guess, as well as uh, other people. Um, we're going to waive the early termination fee only because of customer service experience. I did backdate the document. I just sent it over to you. Hey, everybody. It's Jeremy and Tina. <laughs> it is January 13th, 19th. Or what is it? 2016. Happy New Year. I haven't vlogged that much this year yet because of uh, the... Uh, what, why not? Oh, because we've been so busy. busy. <laughs> but right now we're on our way to Architectural Artifacts in Ravenswood, or on Ravenswood, to see this uh, thing. What is this event? It's a charity event um, where designers, interior designers, decorate a door. Huh. Uh, <laughs> we shouldn't tell you that we crashed the party. It was sponsored by Lux Magazine, who's a client of ours, and we thought we'd 
go in and say hi and shake hands with the publisher and different people from there. And now we're headed home. Tomorrow's a big day. We're gonna be photographing and videotaping in a, a luxury um, window company called Pella. And then after, and then on Friday, we're videotaping at the Merchandise Mart. We're just crazy busy. Okay, okay.